History Hunters is adding a new feature on this channel called Signature Edition, where I'll be using autographs and letters to bring you history in a fresh way. Let's start out this series with this photograph of Goodwin and Virginia Knight. When you're governor of a huge state like California, you're used to making the news. When you leave office, however, you become virtually forgotten. But the California governor I'll be talking about today will be long remembered because he was present at the opening day festivities of Disneyland in 1955. The more I looked into the life of Goodwin Knight, who was interred at the Rose Hills Memorial Park in Whittier, the more I learned about the great tragedies associated with his life and that of California First Lady Virginia Knight. Goodwin Knight was a Southern California judge when he got into politics and was elected Lieutenant Governor in 1947. His first wife, Arvella, had given him two daughters. When she died of a heart attack in 1952 at the age of 51, Knight was lost, heartbroken, and lonely. After months of mourning the loss of his wife, he remembered meeting Virginia Carlson, a pretty widow of a World War II bombardier when they met together on a 1951 TV station spot. Virginia's husband was a lieutenant in the Air Force who had been killed in action in Europe in 1944. As leader of the American Legion Auxiliary, Virginia sold Knight a paper poppy for a fundraiser. Besides being attractive and vivacious, Carlson was a talented poet. The lieutenant governor decided to see if she was interested in dating and had his mother, who knew Virginia, to arrange a date. Being a widow herself, Virginia helped Goodwin deal with his loss. There was 22 years age difference between the two and he was old enough to be her father, but the two became romantically involved. When California Governor Earl Warren was appointed to become Chief Justice of the U.S. Supreme Court, Knight became governor on October 3, 1953. The marriage of Goodwin and Virginia on August 2, 1954 marked the first gubernatorial wedding in California history. When a photograph of the Republican governor carrying his attractive bride over the mansion's threshold ran in hundreds of newspapers, it helped Knight cruise to victory in the 1954 governor's race. The Knights enjoyed their role as governor and first lady, and they were true California celebrities. In this auto safety program, they are seen driving around Sacramento. This is Governor Goodwin J. Knight speaking. Mrs. Knight and I have endorsed a very simple idea, and we appeal to you to try it over the coming holiday period. The idea is this. On the open highways during the period from 6 p.m. Friday, December 28th to 6 a.m. Wednesday, January 2nd, Will you voluntarily reduce your speed 10 miles per hour? You all know the devastating traffic toll on our California highways. State, county, and municipal authorities are nearly helpless without your cooperation. We could have a real Happy New Year without a single useless killing. Please drive 10 miles an hour less during the critical holiday period. In the time he was governor of California, Goody Knight attended to the many duties and public appearances required of a chief executive. Knight traveled frequently, logging 84 speeches in his first 59 days as governor. During his administration, Knight dedicated a number of state highways and water projects, such as in this appearance here. In 1950, as lieutenant governor, Knight helped to open and dedicate the 101 Santa Ana Freeway, transitioning to the Hollywood Freeway. In 1950, Knight helped in negotiations for the state to take over Hearst Castle, the vacation palace of newspaper magnate William Randolph Hearst. Governor Knight highlights milestones in the career of the publisher and the links to California. It is all a great, fantastic, and brilliant story of the building of California. Knight's governorship was a period of unprecedented population and economic growth, and his administration left a $70 million rainy day fund. Back to the photo I showed in the beginning, the governor and first lady of California signed this photo and inscribed it to California State Senator Harold Biz Johnson and his wife Albra. Johnson later became a congressman. I snagged it 19 years ago off of eBay for $4.25. Virginia was an early proponent of turning the 1877 governor's mansion in Sacramento into a museum. Known for their dancing, the Knights sometimes could be seen through the windows of the governor's bedroom practicing their steps. 
She called the mansion her Cinderella home because it reminded her of a palace and remodeled the mansion's kitchen as well as collected memorabilia from previous California first ladies, believing that the structure would eventually become a museum. Her social duties were varied and that included answering mail from people throughout California and the nation. This letter was obviously an answer to an inquiry about a recipe. I'm not too sure I would appreciate a reception salad with a mixture of celery and lemon jello and Philly cream cheese, though. A natural being first lady, Virginia was adored as a brilliant and charming figure. The governor, Mrs. Knight, attended the opening day ceremonies at Disneyland in July 1955 and got to ride with Walt Disney down Main Street. At the dedication ceremony at the flagpole on Main Street, Governor Knight said, Today is a wonderful day and all America is proud as we open Disneyland. The governor was friends with Walt Disney, who extended a special gold pass for him and his guests to enter Disneyland at any time. This 1958 letter signed by Walt Disney himself explained that the Golden Pass was Knight's key to the Magic Kingdom, and it sold in 2015 for a whopping $5,000. In 1958, Knight decided not to run for governor again, but to seek a U.S. Senate seat while William Nolan took on Pat Brown in Sacramento. Qualified with 25 years of public service in all three branches of state government. A vigorous, forthright, able executive. Integrity, humanity, progress, efficiency, and economy have been the hallmarks of the Knight administration. Veteran United States Navy, World War I, a California attorney since 1921, from 1935 Superior Court Judge, until 1947 elected Lieutenant Governor, 1953 inaugurated Governor, California's Governor, Goodwin J. Knight. Government's true function in a democratic republic is not to rule, but to serve with wisdom and humble respect for the God-endowed rights of each individual citizen. Yes, America needs California's best. Goodwin J. Knight for United States Senator. Knight lost his race to Democrat Claire Engel. The Knights left Sacramento in January 1959 and returned to private life in Los Angeles. In his retirement from politics, Knight appeared as a news commentator on a Los Angeles TV station called The Knight Report. Tragedy struck the family again when on February 8, 1970, Knight's 36-year-old daughter, Carolyn Knight Weedman, took her own life by carbon monoxide poisoning inside her garage with the car on. She left two sons behind. Knight discovered his daughter one day later and it's believed that the tragic sight contributed to the stroke that ultimately took his life on May 22, 1970, in Inglewood. His funeral, seen here in this grainy home movie footage, shows the funeral procession leaving St. James Episcopal Church in Los Angeles with full military honors. The funeral was attended by then-Governor Ronald Reagan, Senator Barry Goldwater, General of the Army Omar Bradley, and numerous Hollywood and civic leaders. Virginia was gracious to those who approached her with their condolences. Knight was initially interred at the Hollywood Memorial Park Cemetery, but a year later his remains were moved to the Rose Hills Memorial Park in Whittier after Virginia learned that he had purchased a crypt next to his first wife, Arvella. Virginia never remarried. Granddaughter April Aubrey said that once Goody was gone, the lights went out. Virginia dropped out of society and became a hermit. Following a long illness, Virginia Knight died on November 29, 2010, at the age of 92.